India, a nation on a trajectory to becoming a global superpower, recognizes the paramount importance of a robust military apparatus. Among the three wings of the Indian Armed Forces, the Indian Air Force holds a special significance. Tasked with guarding the vast Indian airspace, the IAF plays a critical role in maintaining regional stability and safeguarding national interests. Recognizing the need for modernization and expansion of its fighter jet fleet, India has embarked on an ambitious program known as the Multi-Role Fighter Aircraft Program. This program aims to acquire 114 advanced multi-role fighter jets from global aerospace giants, marking a significant step towards bolstering the IAF's combat capabilities. The MRFA program is not just about numbers, it's about acquiring cutting-edge technology, enhancing operational readiness, and ensuring that the IAF remains a formidable force in the face of evolving security challenges. The program signifies India's unwavering commitment to maintain a strategic edge in the rapidly changing geopolitical landscape. As India navigates the complexities of a multipolar world, the MRFA program stands as a testament to its determination to equip its armed forces with the best available technology, ensuring that the nation remains prepared to address any challenge to its sovereignty and security. The MRFA program is not an isolated initiative. It represents a continuation of India's long-term vision for modernizing its air force. The seeds of this program can be traced back to the medium multi-role combat aircraft competition, which began in the early 2000s. The MMRCA competition aimed to acquire 126 multi-role fighter jets for the IAF and witnessed participation from leading aerospace manufacturers worldwide. After a rigorous selection process, the Dassault Rafale emerged as the winner, and India signed a deal for 36 Rafale jets in flyaway condition in 2016. While the Rafale deal significantly enhanced the IAF's capabilities, the requirement for a larger fleet of modern fighter jets remained unfulfilled. This led to the conceptualization of the MRFA program, envisioned as a successor to MMRCA, to address the IAF's long-term needs. The MRFA program builds upon the experience gained during MMRCA, incorporating lessons learned and adopting a more streamlined approach. With a clear focus on technology transfer, indigenous manufacturing and long-term maintenance support, the MRFA program aims to create a sustainable ecosystem for India's fighter jet program. The Indian Air Force, once renowned for its formidable size and strength, is facing a critical challenge, a dwindling squadron strength. The IAF's current strength stands at 31 squadrons, a significant drop from the sanctioned strength of 42 squadrons. This decline can be attributed to a combination of factors, including the retirement of aging aircraft and delays in new acquisitions. The backbone of the IAF's fighter fleet for several decades, the MiG-21, is nearing the end of its operational life. These aging aircraft, despite upgrades and life extension programs, are becoming increasingly difficult and expensive to maintain. Their phased retirement is inevitable, further contributing to the IAF's dwindling squadron strength. The urgency of the situation is further compounded by the evolving regional security dynamics. India faces a complex security environment, with potential threats from both China and Pakistan. Both countries are rapidly modernizing their air forces, equipping them with advanced fighter jets and sophisticated air defense systems. In this context, the MRFA program assumes paramount importance. The acquisition of 114 new multi-role fighter jets will not only help arrest the decline in squadron strength but also provide the IAF with a much-needed technological edge, ensuring its ability to effectively counter any aerial threat. The MRFA program has attracted considerable attention from leading aerospace manufacturers worldwide. Recognizing the program's scale and potential, global aerospace giants are fiercely competing to secure this lucrative contract, offering a diverse range of advanced fighter jets to meet India's specific requirements. Among the leading contenders are Dassault Aviation with its Rafale, Boeing with its FA-18 Super Hornet and F-15X Eagle II, Lockheed Martin with its F-21 and F-35, Saab with its JS-39E-F Grapen, and the Eurofighter Consortium with its Typhoon. Each contender brings its unique strengths and capabilities to the table. Dassault Aviation, riding high on the success of the previous Rafale deal, is positioning its latest variant, the F-4, as a combat-proven and reliable option. Boeing, with its Super Hornet and Eagle II, offers a blend of naval and land-based capabilities, while Lockheed Martin, known for its technological prowess, is showcasing the F-21, a customized variant of the F-16 specifically designed for India, and the fifth-generation F-35, renowned for its stealth capabilities. Saab, with its Gripen, emphasizes its technological edge, AI capabilities and willingness for full technology transfer. 
While the Eurofighter Typhoon, a highly capable 4.5 generation fighter, seeks to make a comeback after losing out to the Rafale in the MMRCA competition. The competition is intense, with each contender vying to demonstrate its superiority and secure a foothold in the lucrative Indian defense market. The cornerstone of indigenous defense production is more than just a concept. It's a commitment to self-reliance and innovation. By fostering local talent and leveraging homegrown technologies, nations can reduce dependency on foreign suppliers. This approach not only strengthens national security, but also boosts the local economy. It's about creating a sustainable ecosystem where knowledge, skills, and resources are cultivated within the country. In essence, indigenous defense production paves the way for a future where nations stand strong on their own terms. The MRF program is not just about enhancing the Indian Air Force's capabilities, it's also about empowering India's aerospace industry. By fostering collaboration with global aerospace giants, the program aims to elevate domestic technological expertise and manufacturing prowess. This initiative will create numerous job opportunities and drive innovation within the sector. Ultimately, it positions India as a significant player in the global aerospace arena. The impact of the MRF program extends far beyond the aerospace industry. With a focus on Make in India, the program will significantly boost the country's manufacturing sector. Local suppliers and small and medium enterprises will benefit from increased demand for components and services. This ripple effect will lead to the growth of ancillary industries, stimulate economic development, and contribute to the overall industrial ecosystem. It's a game-changer for Indian manufacturing. The journey of the MRFA program is meticulously charted to ensure success. From the initial stages of selecting the right aircraft to the final integration into the Indian Air Force, every step is carefully planned. The program involves rigorous testing, evaluations, and continuous feedback loops to guarantee that the chosen aircraft meets the highest standards of performance and reliability. This strategic approach ensures that the MRFA program delivers on its promises and objectives. The MRFA program marks a defining chapter in the legacy of the Indian Air Force. By modernizing its fleet with state-of-the-art aircraft, the IAF is poised to maintain air superiority and safeguard national security. This program reflects the IAF's commitment to excellence and its readiness to face future challenges. As we look ahead, the MRFA program stands as a testament to the IAF's enduring legacy and its vision for the future.